of sawdust all over the lens. Oh, now you know what it feels like to use compressed air on a sawmill. Right. Fill you up. <sighs> Crap. Wow. I already broke this. Can make it work. I think. I'm pretty sure Jesse's gonna need me to cut a little of that firewood out of the way, so despite wanting to plane, that might be my first task of the morning after helping Jesse move these floor joists. What do you think normal Americans are doing on a Saturday morning? Probably I, doing something that we don't do. I walked yeah. into the grocery store last night and I'm like covered in sawdust and mud and look grumpy as hell and you know, like walking really fast, the kind of walk that people don't talk to me because they're like, whoa, stay out of our way. Yeah. And I was like, God, oh, it's Friday night. Everyone's buying their booze. Here's me building a debt-free house. That's pretty good. protect them from the sun and we traded one problem for another now it looks like they're all moldy after like three days but the good news is that before raising we should run the planer over everything in theory and take off maybe a 32nd to a 16th of an inch and that should get rid of that is FJ23. And this one we already cut except in planing Alyssa screwed it up. That was our first one so and it was undercut. Jesse said plane till it's smooth and that I did and I wasn't <laughs> paying attention to anything else because yeah. I thought planing was easy and it is but there's yeah. still a learning curve. Well we were so, undersawing them before too so like it's complicated. Yeah. I was undersawing them I wasn't changing my blade often enough and the planing wasn't that good. Okay, and then... Oh, 14, 15, and 16. 14, 15, 16, and 17. And then if you can write on the other end, six by eight. Okay. So these must be anchor sealed. Yeah, those are the Um, I was ends. thinking, I'm trying to make a list for my parents. I was thinking of my mom. I haven't been anchor sealing there's too no busy. There's no need to, because we talked about how okay. the rain is here, so that right. there's no Right, um, something benefit. else. Tarping creates mold. No. No. It's actually not mold. What is it? That is metal flake. Huh. That cool, got, got wet. The wood Interesting. From okay. The tarp. So. Dirt Ditter doesn't know the difference. <laughs> well, no, mold doesn't happen that fast. Okay, that's so what I was like, whoa. Was, remember when we were reaming out the post bases? Oh, yeah. These tarps were in that bin over there, and some of that metal flake uh, got in that tarp. Okay. We should be able to plane it out. I hope you can. If not, one of the lessons is picking which side of the post you want to show. So most <laughs> most posts will only have one or two sides showing. Right. I think the temperature is dropping. I, I just so. got really cold. Had to put my insulated gloves on. Go, please. Thank you. What do we have here? Rescue. Yeah. Jesse's like, oh, it's kind of redneck. I'm like, no, it's not. It's an improvement. So for the last two days, it's been nothing but extremely high winds and downpours, I think is a good word. I wouldn't even call it rain. We had rain blowing this way and then blowing this way. So filming has been out. What we did get done yesterday was a lot and the day before. We're kind of under the gun right now because we're having a difficult time getting our tie beams. They're eight by 15 and four of them are 18 feet long and four of them are 22 feet long. We went and got fresh logs. Uh, so we got three tie beams the next day. These are monsters. They probably weigh 700 pounds, 650 pounds, something like that. 
These are 22 feet. We need one more. Our logger is working on that right now. They've dropped some fresh trees. He's confident we can get what we need from those. Because our deck, we wanted to get a full load of logs and because uh, we, we wanted these first, we're trying to get these beams, but we wanted to get a full load of logs, so then we went after rafters. Rafters, ironically, seem easier, but I don't know, they seem to be equally difficult because of the length. These rafters are 12 and 12 pitch, they are six inches by 12 inches, and they are 27 feet long. These dimensions I'm giving you are actually the saw dimensions. These are not the cut dimensions. We have to over saw them to give us a little bit of room for practice cuts and things like that. That's where we're at with rafters. We've cut four of those. And I tried to pull logs from the deck out at this gentleman's property that I thought I could get rafters from. But they have too much bend in them for 27 feet. If a tree even bends more than about two inches in the middle or anywhere in the tree, it sacrifices the ability to get a long timber like that. So even though it's only six inches wide, the 12 inches tall, that's not a problem. It's the 27 feet long. So yesterday I saw it into a log. I originally thought I could get a tie beam out of that log because of its size. So I made some length marks and did some diameter measurements and I, ah, I just couldn't tell. So I gave myself a backup plan. I didn't cut it to rafter length because doing so would have meant that I could not get two floor joists out of that log. So I made a decision and I cut the log at 24 feet. I said to myself, if I can't get a tie beam, I'm not gonna just waste this monster log. Sure enough, I took one cut off that log and it looked like a corner. And I knew right then it wasn't gonna happen. So I took some measurements, did some thinking, and I ended up cutting the middle out of that log and we got five floor joists. That's big. So huge production yesterday. Unfortunately, it's floor joists. I'm happy because this is pieces and we got production. So all that's good. But this is where we're bottlenecked right now. Rafters and tie beams. We, we got all the other stuff, which I feel really good about. But these, these floor joists are pretty low on the priority list uh, for a lot of reasons. Anyway, so that's kind of catch you up to speed. Um, we installed fluorescent lights in our garage. We got those finally. We ordered a four pack. They're linkable and they were super affordable. I think they were probably under $30 a pop and it lights this bay up nice. So now Alyssa has actually been in here making a mountain of planer shavings. I think around the last video that we filmed, we were having problems with the planer. Alyssa, we improved her technique. We also changed out the planer blades and put brand new blades in and we also ordered several additional pairs. And all that stuff combined with creating this planing area we dropped it down if you remember she was working on sawhorses clear up here and the planers up here and it's just too high so she ends up rocking the planer uh, just from fatigue so now she can really lean on the planer and uh, working much much better she also found that using um, diesel on the planer bed really helps to keep the, the sap uh, away. The sap really makes the planer sticky. It doesn't want to move and it's already heavy and hard to move. Okay, that's a huge wrap up. So that's been the last couple of days. We also blew a backhoe tire. Uh, we got a screw in a tire. Found that out in the middle of the day. Thankfully it happened on a Friday. Oh cool, looks like we have visitors. We'll have to see who this is. I have no idea. They're smiling so that's good. Oh geez. I don't know if they want to be on camera. Cool, some people from Texas shopping for land. All right, I think we're ready to rock. Alyssa's gonna start working on some firewood so we can get our trail back to the back. Right now, what we're trying to hit is Monday. We want a fresh load of logs in here. Our logger has tree length logs dropped and he says he's got what we need to get this timber frame cut. We've got two, four, six logs, seven logs. Uh, so we gotta get making some man glitter.
Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> I didn't drop it far enough. Nope. Uh oh. Yep. That's good. Good job. Whoa. <laughs> it was like That's very fun. fist bump. Diving fist bump. Here you go. makes me sad is the amount of waste. I'm turning it into lumber. I, I yeah. say waste and that's not what I mean. You know, this is not waste, it's lumber. I was worried, shelter said we needed 20 18 foot two by eights. We got plenty. <laughs> Cause yeah. I got 15 more rafters to go. There's gonna be a pile of lumber over there so big that we won't yep. even be able to fit the mill over here. pouring coffee this morning and just holding the coffee pot is absolutely exhausting but it's not an option to be tired so must keep going I know Jesse's just exhausted too but there's a time to rest and that time is not now I did go to the store yesterday and I splurged on some ginger ale these bad boys are more than a dollar a piece but it's worth it two bucks and we can go just that much longer well, we finally put the death blow to the backhoe battery. Failed to stop turning on at all. More appropriately, it finally died, which I think it was gonna do from the day we got it. So that might mean there isn't a phantom mode on it. The battery just sucks. I think the battery was junk. Kind of figured that from the beginning, huh? Except it was pretty much brand new. Well, it was very new, but I think it was just a piece of junk battery. I think it got damaged or something in transit. I'll get this dumped. Good. 
we'll move the rafter and then get another load, another log on. Yep. Try to get the count higher than one today. Yep. And it looks like while I was gone, you beast moded firewood. Yeah, I was trying to think of what I could do to get us caught up a little bit. And Yep, it's good. Um, yeah, the big saw just has more power and more chain and mm -hmm. so, but it's definitely tiring to operate. So don't encourage it if we don't need to. 13 and a half. I think it'll be these four. Okay. And then these two will okay. be floor joints. Okay. So let's so yank this one off. Let's take this guy off. Okay. okay. Hold on. It goes washer pin. Jesse's out running me. I can't keep up. Sorry for doing my job. <laughs> That's big. Okay, Cannon, I have to put you away now. You see it's starting to rain, and I think you could tolerate it, but since we're having really bad luck with cameras lately, we'd really rather not risk it. Don't worry, you probably won't miss too much. More of the same, really. Good night, Cannon. Too much rain. I'm good. Pretty sure that last beam was just difficult. No, nope. Look at this. This thing's off by a country mile too. I will spend the rest of my life calibrating this sawmill. I cannot. The, look at the gap underneath the log. Over a quarter of an inch. These legs aren't even touching. I 
I bet you I flipped this beam over and it's out of calibration again. Tight, 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 and tight. Freaking tired and freaking hungry. I was hoping to get a fourth log up here. Oh, uh, could be a dream. I don't mind pushing. Numero tres. Wow, that's 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 good. Dinner time yet? <laughs> Come on, let's get a log on this deal. I swear I could hear the wheat thin box whispering my name. That doesn't look good. Just a heads up, that sprayed like crazy. I caved. <laughs> I want to feed you. Don't worry. I want to feed you. Can I get two sides off this log? Yeah, real quick? let's do it. Won't take me very long. Maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. Go ahead and clean stuff up. Maybe not this, but. Okay. I was uh, going to keep working, but I can. Or do you want to. Uh, I'm open to trying to get a fourth uh, ra or another rafter tonight. I want to try. Okay. If, if you agree that we can get to the point where we can work by lights, yeah, if I can get two sides off this I'll log, keep working at firewood. Yeah. And by that. I mean, stuffing my face. Dear Alyssa, I will never, le never leave you. I will keep you company when you're lonely. I'm always there. I'm I will. Salty. I will never let you down. I'm salty and crunchy. I will always make you feel loved. Good. Thank you. Rafter. Are you out of fuel too? Nice work. I feel like I'm getting, I think the word is aggressive. Because I need timbers yeah. and I don't need anything else. So I'm trying to, I successfully pulled it off on the last log with quite a bit of margin. I four side cut that log. Really? I only four made cuts? Four cuts. Wow. And you got it? And I got it and actually, so I made six cuts total, two pieces of lumber. That's pretty good. And 
a huge chunk of brace stock and I only made exactly the amount of cuts I need. None of this turn the log mm -hmm. over, turn the log yeah. over, turn the log over. I think that's very over. normal. I'm, I've kind of been doing the same thing with the planer. Yeah. I'm doing like little bits, little bits, little bits, but as I get more confident and understand it, I'm kind of going right to the dimension. Well, like this log, it's going to be really close. And the first two logs this morning, both of them had huge butt swells. So it's literally like conservative cut, conservative cut, conservative cut, conservative cut, conservative cut, like over and over. Like you're literally rotisserying this log. Mm -hmm. And this log and the last log, that's why I wanted to put them up here and just go at it get the timber out of there that we need mm -hmm. and if we get anything else Great. yay if not firewood so now it's time to feed your belly okay <sighs> do you want to run and then come back yes okay i wanted two um, sides off this log yep. and then i can keep milling got the backhoe fueled generator nice. fueled nice everyone's happy <laughs> um there's a couple more tools to grab okay grab the laser level i think i did pretty good on the chainsaw today i think over time i'm learning Better technique in gaining confidence. Bugaboo. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Bugaboo says, please, mom, feed me. Bugaboo. Is that the I want dinner dance? You're all wet. Yes, he will eat all of that food and probably want more. All right, Bugaboo, make sure to bathe yourself when we're gone. You wouldn't want that rain to mess up your pretty fur coat, would you? 